Hi, Richard Norton here with Sensei Benny the Jet, and uh, we're talking about affiliations. Um, I just have a bit of an issue with affiliations at the moment. I'd love to get Sensei's ideas on this too, but what I'm feeling these days and the message I'm trying to put out there to masters, instructors, people with systems is to be a little cognizant of what an affiliation should mean and should represent. The one thing for me I don't think it should represent predominantly is money. How much money can I make by having a hundred schools affiliate with me without having regard for the quality of those schools that affiliate with me and basically the message we're putting out to society. <clears throat> I just think an affiliation, if I run a school and I have a system and I have a curriculum and I want to get an affiliation I believe that school that wants to affiliate with me should be vetted I think I should be obligated to check the background of the instructor, the school do they have a police record, are there any sort of little warning signals, any little red flags that I should be aware of as far as that affiliation goes what is the quality of instruction at that school, what is their passion for what they're going to teach because the bottom line is if they're affiliated with me they're carrying my name my name should mean something it certainly means something to me and it should mean something to any other martial arts instructor out there in other words if they're carrying your brand be it that they adhere to the qualities we talk about all the time of honor of integrity of morality within the arts and that's how I wanted to start this conversation well, well you know uh, Senator Richard uh Truly, when it comes down to it, there's nothing wrong with having a lot of schools. There's nothing wrong with with uh, having a, a big uh, association or affiliation. But I'm agree. I'm agreeing with you that it has to be. You have to walk your talk. And and if you're one that is actually teaching a system and your belief systems with good morals with with the good. You know, I mean, your heart is in the right place, and you're teaching, you know, I mean, there's, you're teaching in a good way. When there's money involved, if your teaching starts to change because of money, for instance, if I am teaching one person one way, and this is the true way of how this art works, and then somebody else comes and actually offers me money and actually is not following that prosciutto heart the way I'm teaching one person I'm teaching him another way because of money and it's not okay uh, to change because of money because if I'm going to change my my morals or you know principles yeah. my principles compromise, behind, the principles compromise because of money I think that uh, truly not only, not only I'm a contradiction of, of what I'm teaching, but what's happening is very confusing because the student's saying, well, if I'm teaching this way and I'm, I'm allowing him to get away with certain things in this way because of money, and this one is uh, I'm teaching him because he doesn't have the money, but yet the, he has the morals of what I'm teaching, they they're, they're both can't be okay because what I'm sending a message is mixed message of because of money it's okay for you to actually do it in this way and it's not okay because he didn't have the money to do it in yeah. that way. No, uh, and, and I'm with you. I, I'm totally okay with if, if something is good, why not expose it to the world? Right. All I'm saying is that let us as the ones that are pushing us to be well aware of who is carrying that brand, to have some ethics to have some integrity and not just do it because they're willing to pay me X amount of dollars a month and then, well, I don't care because, gee, look how much money I'm making. I mean, that's in a nutshell. I just want us to, to retain the integrity of, of what we teach, of our style and what we represent. And that's what I'm in for because, you know, the danger right now, as you know, it's a digital world that everything is now online. You can access information here, there, and everywhere. So, and that's not a bad thing, by the way. You know, and somebody in 
you know, the Outback Australia can now access yourself here right. in America and get knowledge that they would otherwise be unable to access, that's a good thing. What I'm saying is again, let's put the commercial brand or well, let's have a, a price for, for giving you the, the ability to sort of franchise my name, my school, my style, that, that there's a certain uh, expectation of you. I mean, I'm getting long-winded, but it's it's an important thing for me yeah. because it's. Well, you know. it should be it should be, that, you know, Senator Richard, not only for yourself, but there's a code of honor, there's a code of honor in in, in the art, in the martial arts, that we should keep that code of honor, and if it changes because of money, or it changes because uh, of a certain person behind it that whether they have a star status behind them and stuff it shouldn't be able to to change because it's it's not good for one person and not for the other it mm -hmm. should be the same always if you're gonna like for instance myself if i keep my system pure then no matter what money comes in money will come and go but my name of what i you know how i teach it and how i perceive it you know, I want to be able to leave that to my grandchildren's children. Mm -hmm. Leave a good and, legacy. You know, and that way, that way, where others can follow, others can follow it with that type of uh, integrity and honor. Right. You know? So that's that's the message. I mean, listen. As I said again, it's an opinion. It's a strong opinion I hold, and I'm sure Sensei is the same. Yeah. It's, it's being careful that integrity is such an important word that we have integrity with what we're putting out there and, and again affiliations because it's it's so prevalent now again it's a good thing but let's do it with some integrity